Hello, it's a real pleasure to be with you from West London, from Stamford Bridge. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one, my goodness, so much to look forward to. It's Chelsea up against Malmö. Well, the hosts certainly go into this game as strong favourites. They have better technical players and can be brilliant when everything clicks. But their opponents are well-organised, resilient and pose a threat on the counter-attack. Therefore, an early goal will be the main priority for the home team. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. As Pini Quetta plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence, Saul starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield and handed the task of playing up front today, Romelu Lukaku. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. in strongly, decisively Lukaku ball's gone now what can they do from here not to be in terms of the finish Rudiger Romero Lukaku a player who opposing defenders have simply got to keep tabs on Stuart you would expect he'll have something to say for himself here oh he's through and go here Derek and a goal 1-0 and what a fast start they've made to this game Well, just take another look at this, because the one-two to get behind the defence is superbly worked. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. not looking confident in possession James and Mount well, can they be creative from here Lukaku well they couldn't keep it
Saul. Ball lost by Chelsea. Really getting stuck in. This is looking threatening. And he takes it on. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Kai Havertz. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. Space and time for the cross. So Chelsea get ready for their set-piece routine, hoping to increase their lead. Who can they pick out? It might be! And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Committed challenge. Well, they've lost the ball. Have it. Well, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Olsen. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? But quick thinking defensively. <laughs> Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Mali prevented it from going over the line. Mount. And continues his run. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Christiansen. A sloppy pass. Free kick to Chelsea. Mount. Attacking possibilities for Chelsea. Up. Brilliantly blocked. And that's an opportunity for Chelsea to make it look even better. Corner. And there's the delivery. Is he able to dispatch it? Well, not on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Olsen. That is how to apply the pressure. Opportunity! Well, it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. Superbly read and executed. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Anders Christiansen. Raki. And he takes on the shot.
And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. Well, this man, Romelu Lukaku, a very difficult opponent, and the verdict, Stuart, has to be positive. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations, and he had a real impact on the plate. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. And Chelsea get the decision from the referee. Rhys James. Well, he's gone back to give the free kick, the referee here. He tried to play advantage, but it didn't accrue. Rakip. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Opportunity it is. And the keeper has denied him. Well, I've got to say, Derek, he was always in control of that situation. Brilliant stuff. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, threat about it. Chilwell now with Havertz and players waiting in the centre can he find the angle he's blocked it not much time to make up his mind we're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack Chelsea throw in here. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And the cross is very much on. Lukaku. And still an opportunity. When you look at this again, there's two things wrong defensively about this. First of all, the goalkeeper should not be paring it into a dangerous area, and the defenders have to be sharper to get to the knockdown. It's not good defending all round. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. So 2-0 now, and we're into the final half hour. Well, no stopping him. Lukaku! Oh, good work by the keeper. Now sending it in. And the danger clear. Good visualization and execution. And he's through. It's got to be. Oh, strong hand on the ball. Well, you won't see too many better saves than that. It was just brilliant. Chelsea corner. Oh, 
So a personnel change then. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And no nonsense defensive clearance. And pull back. And that's the hat trick. Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. So the action underway again, and it's turning into a trouncing with Chelsea holding all the aces. Aspini Quetta on high alert. Oh, he's lost possession. Well, visionary passing. And a goal! He's put it away. A celebratory moment. Well, here's the replay. And when you've got the ball at the back, you've got to pass it forward. And he doesn't do that there. He has his pocket picked and he's been rightly punished. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? And they know they need to stop him, but really sticking to their task defensively. Now a decent position. That's how to rob them of possession. And threading it forward. And he might be in here. And a goal! If there were any remaining doubts, that will settle the issue well here it is again and it's all about the pace in transition they're so quick to get out from the back and then through on goal he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper there's no stopping that what a great finish and plentiful supply 4-1 currently it's a high level tackle brilliant Chilwell Rudiger has it strong but fair tackle Havertz and they need to get tighter and teammates to play it to now well, showing excellent judgment to intercept racing forward trying to catch them out oh, a lovely incisive pass just needs to stay calm well he was on his own he had the goalkeeper to beat but failed to do so. Well, he just needed to show a bit more composure there. Take a little bit off the shot, I think. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. Chilwell. 
Romelu Lukaku now. Mateo Kovacic. A very good tackle. Now what can they do from here? And that will be all for this game. Well, they had visions of starting with a victory, but the visitors have gone down on match day one. Well, that's not the result they were looking for. It makes the next game really important now. They need to respond in that one.